Hi and welcome to round three of Press X2 this week. I'm Jeff. I'm Jesse, and we are D yep. up. The Firewatch developers are being bought by Valve. Press X2. Hope that they start caring about games again. Ah, yeah. That's why I'm mean, wondering. Is yeah. already. Does that mean they start to? They're they're starting to care about development. Start again? making games now. <laughs> I don't know. Are they just just gonna fund these act. companies? Do they care? Obviously, Firewatch. I mean, yeah. it's built by like just twelve people, so that's not a big company to that's like the, yeah. find and run. I, I'm assuming. Yeah. <laughs> Elephant in the room is: Are we ever gonna get Hell Half Life Three? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder what well, yeah. what other games they haven't made a uh, Left for Dead in a while. I mean, mm. oh yeah, Left for Dead. That's a good series. They always talk about the threes. They they never seem to get the three. It's like Half Life three, Left for Dead three. I know there's another one. So are they gonna get these guys to make Firewatch two? <laughs> Tease Firewatch three, <laughs> and never touch them again. Yep. And then sell, sell them like Portal three. That was another one. Oh, Portal three's got to go. <laughs> Press X to pray that they do it right. Could that time. be it? I mean, they seem to be good at storytelling helping out with maybe another portal game you know they yeah. they make the levels but you guys tell the story <laughs> what about half-life 3 half-life was groundbreaking for the storytelling in that yes in the sense that you're not stuck in a cutscene right people are talking to you out. you get to move around and stuff like that uh -huh. so these guys overwatch obviously did a good job doing their story right the valve team can add the gameplay that yes that I've, I've heard some people s said Firewatch was kind of lacking. Like, it was a great story and experience, but there wasn't much of a game there. It's a walking yeah, simulator. Yeah. <laughs> so I think it's a nice combination, yeah. possibly. Yeah, let's hope that they do more of this stuff. Uh -huh. Require more guys. You haven't touched this game in a while, but I'm <laughs> hoping this changes your mind. Devil May Cry collaboration event will start April 27th. On Monster Hunter. Okay. <laughs> and the Street Fighter V collaboration event for Sakura's costume is uh, coming May 4th. That's consecutively two weeks of stuff that you like. Right. <laughs> is that going to bring you back? Press X2. Press X2. Dabble a bit because <laughs> I'm still playing God of War. Yeah. And that's kind of taking over my time right now. <laughs> I'm a really busy person. Um, <laughs> man. Man, I'll have to check over what I exactly have to do in, in uh, sorry, in Monster Hunter. Yes. Plan out my execution <laughs> of how I'm gonna get things done as quickly as possible, yes. and maybe hit because I might not even be high enough level, and I'll have to grind out and, mm -hmm. and get up there. So for Devil May Cry, you need to be HR 14, which is almost oh. late game. HR 12 for Sakura's challenge. So both of them are pretty far I back I don't think you need to <laughs> I don't think you need to finish the game yeah. in order to, in order to do those but they are later in the okay. game but if you're HR 10 you're not that far away to be very yeah. honest with you you're about four or five missions away okay <laughs> but each of those will take maybe you'll have to carry me man do a couple things <laughs> yeah. all right I guess so what are you now 170 oh geez I'm <laughs> He left me the dust. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know like that game. <laughs> Hi, this is Jassy coming from D Up Gaming. I'm just here to tell you guys to like our videos. Um, subscribe by hitting the bell below. Follow us on iTunes and Anchor by clicking the link below. Follow us on Twitter at D underscore up underscore gaming. Thanks for watching.